Okay, okay, we will uh, use some background video uh, from uh, street views from Chiang Mai, Thailand to distract you in this uh, outpatient adventure story because otherwise you have to look at my face all the time uh, and uh, I'm not that attractive without a cap. So yes, uh, some views in the background while I tell my story how it is to go to the hospital as an outpatient patient. patient. As an outpatient patient, you go to the, to the back door and um, with a lot of other people. A lot of other people. A lot of other people enter this academic hospital from the back entry. Is it the back entry? It looks like the back entry. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of competition. I mean, there is a lot of other people waiting and that's what you do as an outpatient, waiting. You start with, uh, you have your, uh, your appointment, you have your appointment. There is a plan where you have to go to this day uh, for example the last uh, time the last uh, visit to the hospital there should be some examination of the blood so there was a doctor's consult and a laboratorium uh, examination of the blood so first it has to be paid so first yeah my wife i don't do anything my wife goes to the counter of the cachet she pays 100 baht for the doctor's consult and about 1000 baht for the laboratorium uh, examination that's the first step next step is going to the, the the department where you have your appointment going to the apartment with the elevator okay third floor and then uh, first thing uh, you have to wait you have an appointment at 11 o'clock for example last the time was 11 o'clock the time before was eight o'clock then you have to leave the house at seven Ooh, that's rather early for me uh, now we had to leave the house at 10 we were half past 10 we were at the hospital going up uh, paying uh, blah 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 then yeah we are in time still you have to wait because you have to register uh, waiting for register then they take in the papers it takes several minutes to register i don't know what they do i no idea what they do um, all the conversations are in thai if you don't speak thai you have a problem uh, if you don't read thai you have a problem everything is in thai i cannot read thai uh, i have no idea uh, what they are talking about you need a, a, a translator I have my wife, my wife translates for me, my wife uh, uh, is my guide, without a guide I would not I would be dead already in this hospital system. So you need to talk and read uh, Thai or you need a guide, a translator, somebody who helps you uh, going through the system. Without help you cannot uh, go through the system, it's, it's virtually impossible. So, my wife goes to register, it takes uh, half an hour waiting, registering, five minutes. Then uh, you get your uh, another number, another paper, and you have to wait for the doctor. The doctor doesn't start uh, at, at eight. If you have an appointment at eight, the doctor starts at nine. So you are sure you have to wait an hour for at least. Now we had an appointment at 11 o'clock. And uh, doesn't, yeah, you have to be happy when you are with the doctor at 12 o'clock because at 12 o'clock it's lunchtime and then half the staff is gone. So, yeah, okay, we were just in time to see the doctor. The doctor said, uh, Where is your uh, lab report? What? Your lab report? Yeah, the blood examination. Yeah, we had to go to this department first. There is no blood examination yet. Oh, 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 we do it without. Things like that, if you don't, even when you understand Thai, if you read the language, if you follow the instructions, it can go wrong. Without uh, a guide, you're, you cannot do this. So it's a, it's a waiting, 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 then see the doctor for 10 minutes and then, okay. One day we had to spend seven hours in hospital. 
uh, the second time it was uh, quicker. The, then we go to the specialist, to the orthodontist, nee, to the, the doctor of the bones. <laughs> What's his name? It was quicker. But every time, every time you have to wait, you have to wait in line. Uh, I'm sitting in a wheelchair, but my wife is waiting in line, going from one chair to the other chair to the other chair, because the line is on the chairs. Waiting, 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 waiting a lot. It takes a lot of time to be an outpatient. There are so many other patients. Then you s maybe you can go to a private hospital, but if you started, like me, in an academic hospital, the inpatient part it was great. Everybody was talking English. Everything was clear. It was six days and surgery for 80,000 baht. Uh, that's rather cheap. Um, now the rest, uh, a consult is cheap, 100 baht for a consult, that's cheap. The medicines are not cheap because they are not registered medicines. They, if you are a Thai you, with a Thai income, you would have a problem. Now, okay, I can pay the medicine, I wasn't happy with the bill, 4,400 baht for a box of medicine. I wasn't happy with that, but okay, it's cheaper than the injections. The injections were 5,000 baht for uh, for a week. <laughs> yeah, the medicines are not cheap, but the labor, that's everything in Thailand. Uh, uh, labor is cheap, even the labor of a doctor is cheap, but the, the uh, things with a brand and, and the medicine are with a brand too. Things with a brand, they are not cheap at all. Uh, they're not cheap at all you have to pay and if it's a not registered medicine like the bill says it's not cheap at all so should you be insured for this now as an outpatient still if you get medicines for one month for 5000 baht uh, you can pay it yourself i think but that's only for the uh, thrombosis eh? that's one medicine for the thrombosis if you are seriously ill, if you are planning to get cancer, you cannot pay it on yourself. That, that, that chemo cure and, and things like that, radiation bills, nah, 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 nah. If you are, if you are planning to have a serious disease because you're getting old, um, you should be insured. Small things, a sore throat. You go to uh, you go to the clinic. You go to the clinic, or if you know what you have, you go to the pharmacy directly without a doctor. Uh, and uh, those things like that, that you can pay it yourself. But if it's getting serious, yes, you would need uh, health insurance. I'm looking for a health insurance. I'm still looking for a health insurance. Uh, I was asking for a, a quote for a price. There was only one company uh, reacting to it, and then I, I can choose. I can choose whatever I want to have insured, uh, and depending how much package you buy, the price is getting higher. But there's only one uh, company reacting. It was a. Uh, so I'm looking for another prices, more prices than the only one. I have to compare it with two or three other. So that's what you should do too. You have to ask for the price. What will it cost for me with your age and with your diseases, your underlying diseases. Underlying diseases will not be insured. If you have already pancreas cancer, then the pancreas cancer isn't insured. My hip isn't insured anymore. My thrombosis, if I get a new insurance, the thrombosis will not be insured. Everything you have, are out of the policy that's for now uh, just uh, rambling about the outpatient part uh, the outpatient part in the hospital for me an academic hospital it's about waiting 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 and uh, pay it yourself uh, the doctor is cheap but the medicine is not that was it for today uh, I have the feeling we have to do another uh, response to this video and then really talk about the insurance because I only have one quote 
Now I only have uh, one company giving different prices, but I need different companies with different prices to know what I should choose. And I'm not choosing alone for myself. If I take an insurance for myself, I, I need to have the insurance for my wife as well, because I cannot be selfish like that. This is it for now. This is long enough. This is Thank you for watching. Just like and subscribe. See all the videos on the channel. And I see you later. I see you later. Oh, nobody recognized me without my cap. <laughs>